Brakes Interstate Park recently received a grant from the Cumberland Forest Community Fund for $30,000. This grant will work to build sustainable climbing trails, install new routes, and create a master plan for climbing trails within the gorge. The grant opportunity that we uh, recently received came through the Nature Conservancy, through a fund that they call the Cumberland Forest Community Fund, uh, which is named after a, a parcel of over 200,000 acres uh, that they recently preserved in Kentucky, Virginia, and Tennessee. And, uh, and they make royalties off of this land that they preserved uh, from uh, old gas wells, things like that. And, uh, and then those royalties go into a fund uh, where applicants can apply for grants. And, uh, and that's where our $30,000 came from. When my baby was born, it was magical. And as she grew, having a hospital close to home with advanced health care and specialized physicians being there along the journey was important. And along that journey, many special doctors touched our lives. And then one day, my baby became a woman and a mother herself. Pikeville Medical Center, caring for every moment in life. Since the park began hosting climbers in 2015, nearly 400 climbing routes have been established along with a guidebook of the trails. The importance of public land really came, I think, into focus for everybody during COVID when people couldn't go anywhere else. And, you know, that that popularity has actually continued even, even after everything opened back up. So, um, you know, preserving these natural places for people to come and hike, be active in the outdoors. Uh, th there's a lot of studies that talk about the, uh, the importance for your mental health of just being able to get into the outdoors. So, so that's what, you know, the, the park's mission is to preserve this property for future generations so that we'll always be here for people. For more information about the park and their trails, go to breakspark.com. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.